Hello all, welcome to the eDrawMax online guide. In this video, we will cover the following topics. Let's learn how to open eDrawMax online. In your browser, go to eDrawMax.com and click on the Get Started Now icon. This will launch eDrawMax online. Now let's look at the innovative user interface. The online version of eDrawMax is also available in different languages as shown. Like the desktop version, the online version also has recent, recommended, and personal template tabs for quick access. Under each diagram category, there are different diagram types, and each diagram type possesses many built-in templates that you can utilize to create diagrams in very quick time. Under Workbench, you will see your file's history. Here you can find files saved in the cloud. Here you'll find your favorite or starred files. Under My Share, you will find files that you've shared, and here you will find files which are shared with you. Under Templates, you will find the templates published by you and others. The Team feature allows you to create a group of your own and start sharing your diagrams, and you can see diagrams published by your teammates. Dropbox allows you to store files in cloud storage. You can import eDrawMax files from here. You can access your favorite diagrams from here. All deleted files can be found in the recycle bin. Now we'll look at how to draw a diagram and some basic tools. First, we'll look at symbols and libraries. eDrawMax has over 26,000 drag and drop symbols to choose from. Now let's draw a simple diagram by dragging and dropping the symbols from the library and connecting them through connectors as shown. Let's color the shapes by selecting all shapes and choosing the colors from the fill color option as shown. Now let's color a connector by selecting the connector and choosing the color from the line color option. Connector properties can be changed from the line style icon as shown. Text can be inserted by choosing the text icon as shown. Text font and size can be adjusted as shown. And now let's find out more about the right pane. Here you'll find options to edit properties. The shape style feature allows you to edit fill properties as shown. You can also edit properties of lines as shown. The next one you'll find is the page setting option. Here you can set the background, remove the background, and add a watermark. Other page setting options are also available. You can apply built-in themes from this section. You can change the theme color here. You have the option to change the connector theme as well. You can modify the text theme also. And you can find the layers option here. Here you can add slides for presentation. This is for data properties. You can insert an image using this feature. Here you will find properties to edit an organization chart. You can find options to edit the properties of a floor plan. Gantt chart properties can be seen here. Here you can see the editing options for a mind map. And this option allows you to save your file under history in the workbench. Now let's look at the save, share, publish, and export features. 
Clicking on this icon enables full screen mode. Clicking on the save icon saves the file. You can download files by clicking on this icon. You can share the diagram on different platforms using the share feature as shown. Once the diagram is finished, you can publish it to the template gallery to share with users from all over the world as shown. Now let's look at exporting the file. You have different formats to choose from to export your file as shown. Now I've exported to PowerPoint format. Now let's look at the template gallery. Under the template gallery, you can find templates published by other users and you can publish your diagrams as well. You can search for templates from the search bar. You can view the templates based on recent releases, most viewed, and most liked. You can also search templates based on roles and diagram types. Let's open a sample template from the gallery. Clicking on the Use Immediately icon opens the Drawing on Drawing board, which allows you to edit the diagram according to your requirements. So there you have it. That's an overview of eDrawMax's online features. Please visit the eDrawMax website for more details. You can find a link in the description below to try eDrawMax online or to download the software.